All right, all right, uh, Shalom. Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Rakakodash. All right, we want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And we want to give a peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. You know, this is just another week, another uh, pre camp walk and talk. You know, we just going to roll through the spirit. You know, uh, I'm your brother uh, Zakaria. I'm your brother Kananat. And I'm your brother Oz. You know, we the brothers from uh, GMS Miami Camp, you know. And uh, uh, the lesson today is going to be basically how the Lord going to provide in these times, man. All right, these perilous times, all right, the Heavenly Father Yahweh through his son Yahweh is going to provide for us, man. Is the elect men, Lord, when we are part of that elect number in our houses, our families, our, our brothers got children, brothers got wives. The Lord's gonna provide. You know, you just have to believe. I right, want you to believe the Lord gonna provide. Mm -hmm. You know, don't fret, don't be scared, don't panic. Just trust in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, because hey, by serving Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, we're all, you know, in meekness and humility. There's a reward for that. You know, right. the Lord ain't gonna leave you just forsaken. That's right. Come on. Uh, yeah, you got it. I'm looking for pre -sale. Okay, come on. Yeah, so we just gonna roll through the spirit. You know, Lord, what is edifying? You got Lord, it, so Isaiah 65. Yeah, you can't see shit. Hold on. Glare. Isaiah 65 and uh, 12. No, I started 13. 13. Therefore, then said the Lord God, Behold, my servant shall eat. That's right. But you shall be hungry. So yes. the, yeah, service yeah. Of the, Lord. Or the service of the Lord is going to eat. <laughs> the service of the Lord is going to eat. But you have to be a servant. All right. So you have to be serving. You have to do, be doing the, the will of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. That's right. Yeah. The Lord's he's going to provide the one, the prophets started with the prophets. All right. They're going to they gonna eat. They're going to drink, man. Huh. All right. All right. So therefore, this says the Lord God, behold, my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink. But you shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice. Five and thirteen again. Therefore, this said the Lord God: Behold, my servant shall eat, but he shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but he shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but he shall be ashamed. That's right. So the Lord is it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be a, a difference, man. It's gonna be a, the, the man of the Lord eating and drinking, by like being merry, having abundance, and it's gonna be the people of the world that reject the world. I mean, they reject the reject how about Shemashah. They're going to be hungry. They're going to be thirsty, man. They're going to be out here through, man. Yep. You know? Shame. God. God. Um, I wanted to get this scripture in Genesis, the 22nd chapter. All right. This is the first time that the word provide is mentioned in the scriptures. Okay. And this is when Abraham, well, the, well, the Most High, Yahweh, commanded Abraham to sacrifice his his only begotten son, Isaac, right. okay, the, the, the child of the promise. Mm -hmm. And Abraham being a man of faith, he didn't hesitate, he didn't, he didn't think about it, he, he went straight away to do it. Right. As it says in Hebrews 11 chapter, he already knew the Heavenly Father would uh, raise him back up anyway, right. if he did kill him, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, this is Genesis, the 22nd chapter, and verse six, let me get to the point. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac, his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife. And they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham, his father, and said, My father. And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold, Behold the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Right. <laughs> Isaac like, okay, we're about to do a sacrifice. What, <laughs> what, what, what a lamb at? Right. And Abraham said, My son. The Most High will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we knew, uh, we know how the story goes. Right. The Most, uh, or Abraham commanded Isaac to lay down on, on the altar. And, and uh, before Abraham was, he, as he was getting ready to slay Isaac, the Most High sent an angel to stop his hand. And then. I uh, must jump down. All right. Verse 13. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked and behold, behind him, a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering instead of his son. Right. And Abraham called the name of that place, Yahweh Yara'ah, as it is said to this day in the Mount of Yahweh it shall be seen. Mm -hmm. Now when you go into this word provide, 
okay? In the blue letter, it says, Yah, uh, it says Ra Ah, which means to see, right. look at, inspect, perceive, to see, have vision, okay? And when you go into the etymology of the word provide, pro meaning before and vidare meaning to see, right. means to see before. Right. So just like Abraham told Isaac, the Most High will provide a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And before Abraham went to sacrifice Isaac, the Most High stopped in and showed him a ram that was already caught in a thicket waiting for them to, to sacrifice. Right. So the Heavenly Father, in the same way he provided a saw before, okay and, and had that sacrifice waiting for abraham the most high already sees all the trials and tribulations and, and different you know uh hard times we're gonna have to find ourselves into in the coming days mm -hmm. so whatever situation we find ourselves in whatever hard you know rock in a hard place whatever just know the Lord has already provided a way out. That's right. Like brother. it says in 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, yeah. there's no temptation taking you, but that which is common to man, but the most high is who is faithful. Right. When I suffer you to be uh, tempted above that which ye are able, but will with the temptation make a, a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. And that's right. the same thing he did with Abraham. He knew Abraham was a faithful man and yeah. he was going to do what was commanded, but he didn't allow him to be tempted above that which he was able. Right. Same thing goes for us. Right. He, he's, he's already seen everything we're about to go into. And that's why you got to have that faith. Like it says in Romans 8 and 28. Okay, all things work together for our good. good yep. Yeah, that's, that's right, bro. Like, uh, you have something coming up? Uh, a little bit more. Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, this said the Lord God, Behold, my, I'm 14 to lock it. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but he shall cry for sorrow of heart, and, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be rejoicing, singing. Even though I pray to see y'all by Shemir Shine, you guys gonna be what? Yeah, uh, wailing and gnashing the teeth, man. Mm -hmm. Crying. Don't know where your next meal's gonna come from. Right. Yeah, you get our second edges too. We can cross over. Yeah, man. The Lord gonna provide, man. Just how the brother Ash brought that out in the book of Genesis. Uh, just how the Lord provided us when we got out of uh, ancient Egypt. Yep. All right. So our, our, our shoes was on our feet, you know. We wasn't, you know, we, we ate every day, you know. The Lord gonna provide just out because the Lord said He changes not. You know, you got. Uh, nah, uh, the M the they shall MVD. Oh, second Ezra. Yeah, okay. second Ezra. Yeah, we coming in a time perilous times. What you not gonna be able to buy ourselves unless you have that sea hip, man. All right, you start right. gonna shut shit down. There's gonna be martial law everywhere. All right, they gonna they gonna uh, lock these cities down. But how we gonna eat? The Lord said He's gonna provide for us, man. Like 25 or something. Uh, 26. I started at 25. Nurse thy children, O thou good, nor establish their feet. As for the service whom I have given thee, there shall not one of not one of them perish, for they for they will require them from among thy number. Yeah, so none of the Lord's servants gonna perish, man. Our right, Lord got a leg number that he's gonna uh, deliver. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaven is cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Yeah, so we're going to be merry and have abundance. That We got to believe that, man. This is how the Lord provided for us now. We be in tough situations, but the Lord provided for us now. He going to provide in those times. Now, yeah. the heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, said the Lord. That's right. My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. Man, you got it. All right, so brothers that have children. All right, the children going to be good. You just have to believe it. Mm -hmm. All right, the Lord wants you to believe. Once you believe... He's gonna perform. That's how the Lord moves. By you know? faith. Hey, so with that, we wanna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhadash. Double honors unto our apostles and others of great most on rule well and much peace and blessing to the elect. Shalom, Shalom, the Bible ball, Bible ball, Shalom, Yahweh.